Good morning, Olive Branch. This is TJ Cates, and look who is sitting beside me. One of the funniest men in America, <laughs> the, the, the pastor with the swagger. No pressure. No pressure at all. The funniest man alive. Come You're on, TJ. You've got to be the funniest man alive. When I travel, I always watch your 6 a.m. show whenever I get a chance to, <laughs> and I get excited, and somehow you have a, a way to tell that I'm watching, and it's like, oh, no, you can tell I get watch. I have so spies. I you do have spies. Then introduce yourself. Uh, TJ, thank you for letting me be here with you guys on Good Morning Olive Branch. So I guess I could say Good Morning Olive Branch to all of you guys. Please share this out on your pages. I'm Doug. Uh, I am a pastor here in Olive Branch. Uh, but I'm here today to talk about another activity that I'm involved with, and that's Destiny Center. I'm the CEO of Destiny Center, and Destiny Center is the first of its kind mobile community center. So I'll talk to you about that a little bit. but. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited for this well, opportunity. I'm glad you came, and I was going to invite you, but then Sam invited you. I'm like, well, that really worked out, because you know, <laughs> being the previous mayor, you got to be there. That's Can right. you come to City Hall at 8 o'clock? Um, I mean, his picture's on the wall. It's a pretty big deal. I saw deal. that coming in. It's a pretty big deal. It's a big deal. But I'm, I'm excited about the Destiny's, um, what do we call it, Destiny it's Center? It's Destiny Center, and it's a mobile community center. Um, it started here in Olive Branch. Uh, that's something in our community uh, that we're proud of. We're proud of Destiny Center, but we're proud of our community. We have, DeSoto County is one of the greatest communities uh, for expression of loving your neighbor and taking care of each other. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of what a mobile community center is, uh, we focus in on things such as education, health care, uh, social services. Mm -hmm. Uh, transportational services, food services. We've got, it's, it's a big thing. Uh, we're trying to start it out small yeah. and grow it because uh, there's a great need in our community. Uh, right now, especially going through the times that we're going through, even in the pandemic, uh, there is a need for kindness. I tell you that every kindness. day. Kindness. Every day. Kindness. Everybody needs it's to be so nice simple. to each other. It's so easy. It, you would think it would be so easy, but we haven't mastered it yet. So what brought this in? You're the CEO, and where is it located? Like, okay. what is it? Just kind of explain that part of it. Yeah, Destiny Center is located on Blocker Street. We lease a house next door to the church that I pastor. That makes it convenient for me. What's the name of the uh, church? Cross Point Church. Uh, you have a website? We do have a website and, and a daily uh, broadcast called Pray First at 7 a.m. I love it. Morning. Absolutely love it. Uh, so you can, you can follow Pastor Doug Bell on Facebook and get to that. Um, but... In, in this mobile community center that we have, we, we wanted to do something different. Uh, there's a lot of box store services mm -hmm. for people to go to and receive services. But some people that need those services provided by communities, churches, governments, etc., they don't have transportation to get to those services. Therefore, those services don't exist for them. Yeah. TJ, if I want to go way back, Destiny Center was born out of uh, a grandson who was raised by his grandmother. And my grandmother never drove. She wouldn't even drive a golf cart or a, mm -hmm. or a scooter round in her elderly years. And I would walk with her to Fred's Dollar Store in Holly Springs, Mississippi. And I'd walk to her to Big Star and yeah. Piggly Wiggly. We lived right in the center of town on Johnson Park. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to help her because everywhere we went, we had to get a ride. Yeah. To the doctor, to the grocery store in the rain and the snow and the cold. If it weren't for family, we wouldn't be able to get there. So I just wanted to take the resources that are available and, and get them to the people. We're not trying to recreate any wheels here. Mm -hmm. The Thomas Edison light bulb was spectacular in that he didn't just accept fire yeah. as a way to illuminate a dark space. He, he took it a little further, but it was still, it, it, it lacked efficiency. Uh, we continue to make it better by the invention of the LED light. Mm -hmm. The LED do light like is, that? oh man, I, I do. Like I'm not a big fan. Let me tell you about I'm just it. Not a fan. it. It's efficient. Let me talk to you about LED for a minute. <laughs> it's efficient. Uh, it doesn't produce heat. It's instant own. It is. It does not take mercury to produce it. Okay. I mean, we've, we've got a whole lot of great issues there, uh, but I like the instant own part. So we're trying to take you know, what we already have, make it more efficient, make it more available, spend less money on administration and more money Correct. on helping the people. Some of the services we provide, we have four uh, focuses, I guess you would call them. One of them is health care. So we took an old school bus and we retrofitted that old school bus. Nice. And we have a counseling center in there. Uh, we have computer uh, pods in there. 
we have a, uh, now this doesn't apply to myself or our former illustrious mayor, Sam Rockard, but a hair care facility in yeah. there, a full salon barbershop. Uh, it's capable of producing food, making food. It is completely off the grid. It has its own water system, its own Wi-Fi system. Wow. It has its own everything. I mean, you can just bring that out into a disaster. You can bring that out into a neighborhood and instantly start giving food, teaching uh, people how to use the internet, set up email, mm -hmm. get them on monster.com, get them a job, uh, cut their hair, get them ready for a job. That's amazing. Just all that from one bus. Uh, so that is going to develop into pods. We're very interested in pods, and through those pods, we take them out to a community and set up a community center in a day, which could have dental care, food care, services for children, education, uh -huh. and then in the afternoon, take that pod up and go somewhere else. What do you call the pod? Like a, it's, it's somewhat, you know, people like are I'm taking... Like move, I'm going to get a pod? Yeah, like, like, like containers, you know, those okay. transportation truck okay. containers? Yeah. Uh, people are making houses out of them. I didn't a short bus or like a van or something. Well, you something. know, we do have a van, which is the short okay. bus. Right. But that's another story. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But the pods are important because they're portable, and you can take them to people, and people don't have to come to them. I love it. Uh, where are you? Where do you take these? Where are you going to go to? Have you already started? Yeah, we can take that bus and we take it to uh, apartment complexes, uh, convention centers, civic centers, public parks. We've been in the Olive Branch City Park and provided job fairs and different things like that. Uh, but we want to expand that and have a fleet of buses where we can take a fleet of buses and bring a dentist, bring vision care. Yep. I mean, we can bring people through that bus, get their eyes checked, get them free eyeglasses. And again, we're trying to partner with everybody. Partnerships are so important. We're not trying to provide all these services. We're just trying to get these services to get the people. Get it to the people. How exactly. can people like connect with you? And we got a lot more to cover, but yeah. how can people connect with you? Because that's a question. Yeah. That, and maybe they could request, you know, possibly that you would come out. Right. There's there's several opportunities here that's that we can talk about. One of those is if you or someone you love has a need to get to the grocery stores, to pharmacies, to the doctor's appointments. Uh, Non-critical, you know, we're not an ambulatory service. Right. Um, we can do that for you. We also need volunteers to help drive those, uh, help get them uh, into the shuttle on one of our shuttle lifts. Uh, just be there because we want to provide not only a service and not only a free service, we want to provide people with excellence. We want to provide people with dignity. We want them to get off our bus and feel like they've been in a limousine service. So it. one way they can do that is call our phone number, 662-420-2949. They can also follow us on Facebook. Uh, we don't have the website up yet, but we will. But, you know, social media is really where people yeah, are going now is. for info. But they can also call us and call our offices. Um, Another opportunity, not just the use of it and not just volunteerism, but we have corporate sponsors and we have uh, small mom and pop sponsors. The reason that we are able to do financially what we're doing is we have a partnership with Niagara Water Bottling Company. Yeah. And Niagara Bottling Company is an international company and they invest in us every year. Mm -hmm. So Niagara Water is on our buses, it's on our shuttles, it'll be on our pods. Uh, we also have local uh, mom and pop small businesses uh, like 180 Cleaning uh, mm -hmm. with Charles and Amber Elrod, and they monthly send a portion of their budget to Destiny Center. And we couldn't do that without people, you know, volunteering and supporting and partnering. So we have a pretty good base, but we want to do more. FedEx, if you're listening, uh, there's a small plug. FedEx Ground, you're right down the street. This would be hey, a great thing. There's so many warehouses right? that are in here. We're Logistics in Memphis, music in Memphis, yeah. business in Memphis. Uh, the growth are in DeSoto County. Are you staying in County? No, uh, I'm glad you said that. We're covering a five-county uh, radius around, including DeSoto when, County. When I was a kid, we would stay with my grandmother, and she ran Gridiron, which is like Waffle House. And yeah. Stuff. And my sister and I would stay there, mostly me, and we'd work with her during the day. She'd make her money and mostly change from the day. And we would get on the matter bus, and we would drive downtown on Main Street, and she oh, would wow. shop. So it's very similar. But Absolutely. She didn't start driving, I think, until she was in her late 50s or 60s. It just wasn't something that people did. So we think about how easy it is right now to jump in the car, go get what we need, right. hit Walgreens and stuff like that. And right. in my dad's store in Memphis, we had people that would take a taxi or a cab and before 
or Uber and they would come shopping and they'd put everything and I always thought, and I said, Dad, they, is their car broken? He said, they probably don't have one, son. Exactly. You know, and there it all was, 15 with We take it truck. for granted. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. you have people, too, who are disabled, mm -hmm. the elderly. You have people who have gone through different health situations and they're unable to drive their, themselves. And to, and to get those kind of vehicles, you know, privately and to own, that's a lot of money. And then to yeah, get someone to drive it, it can get expensive quickly. Uh, we went to, uh, you know, not staying in DeSoto County, we went into Shelby County and picked up this young lady one day who had been without oxygen for a long time. Goodness gracious. And so she had to get back and forth to this uh, doctor's appointment. She gets in the bus, we load her up, it's raining outside. She says, why do y'all do this? <laughs> and uh, this doesn't cost anything. Who's paying for this? You know, they yeah. expect this, this hitch, this, what's the... There's always a catch. The catch, exactly. She said, you guys, why did y'all call it Destiny Center? She said, you shouldn't be called Destiny Center. She said, you should rename it. You guys should be known as Heaven Sent. That's nice. And, and I thought, you know, that's a great way to put it. Maybe yeah. my mom up in heaven, who I weren't, wasn't able to take her to the doctor's office, wasn't able to take her to the grocery store, wasn't able to take her to get her prescriptions. Maybe she has a little something to do with this well, being obviously successful. obviously she does. Yeah, so, but this is the beginning of it. We want to go somewhere with this. Uh, we literally want to open up pods that will provide uh, gourmet coffees, gourmet foods, and things for other communities uh, mm. to be able to help finance this. Yeah. And then you could, for example, I keep you know. And you have a FedEx. grant writer, right? Man, do uh, what? Yeah, we writer. know a grant writer. Okay, good. We have a grant writer. Okay, I don't want to interrupt you, but keep, you're doing a good flow. Uh, you know, I got to get there. I got to get yeah. there in just a second. But the opportunity for the coffee shop and the opportunities for uh, different you know, sponsorship opportunities. It's not just the big guys like FedEx. Just imagine your business, your company being so-and-so's coffee sponsored by so-and-so. Uh, because, you know, some communities aren't going to let us drop down the throw your clothes in a box. They're going to want us to put something boutique-wise there, yeah. and it can still help finance it. Man, our team. Our team is wonderful. I have a board that uh, supports and encourages and works their full-time jobs and then steps into the role of a board of a mm -hmm. nonprofit organization. Um, Dennis Pitts, and uh, man, he, he's our sergeant in arms. He, he takes names and, you know, distributes the discipline. Just kidding, Olive Branch. Uh, <laughs> but, but we love him. And, and then there's Ann, she's the treasurer secretary. Uh, these people, again, they've, they've given their life to do these things and, 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 and writing grants. It's very uh, important. It's extremely important because, you know, these corporations don't want to put big money into something that's just not well thought out. Right. And, and Destiny Center is something that is well thought out. And while it has started here in Olive Branch, we want to see this go across the country I think and the it world. Could. There's some studies because I got real involved with the homeless in Nashville. Right. And I was there. I didn't publicize it or anything. But one of the things that we did was we started working with um, going because they always they couldn't stay at the shelters. They had to go out to the parks. Um, but they really want, most of them didn't want to be homeless. I mean, I don't right. know the percentage. Right. But what they did is they have this portable shower and a bus, and they would they would have them. They would get a haircut. They get fresh clothes. Yes. And then they would take them to a job interview. Right. And all of a sudden, you know, they they get a job because everybody's making. So what you're doing, taking it to the people, man, mm -hmm. that's great. I have questions about volunteers because I would imagine that everybody wants to get involved. I'm a big volunteer. You are. Right. Our circle we are but there's some people at home that are watching they want to get involved so let's say that they want to drive a bus you don't need a hundred bus drivers but Correct. if you did do they have to have a cdl is there anything like uh, that they do not we make sure that we purchase um, the shuttles that allow for okay. uh, someone with a general driver's license to do it okay. uh, in the future we're going to need some cdls to drive some bigger buses and yeah. do some bigger opportunities uh, but we have, uh, again, a staff of more than just the board, uh, kind of headed up and led by Debbie House. Debbie House is an mm -hmm. amazing person. Uh, she takes people through a training lesson. Uh, we do have standards. We do have to follow some laws and some things. But these are, these are things that anybody can, you know, come into an orientation. We have orientations every few months. And we do that at the uh, Olive Branch Library, BJ Chain Library. We also do that at the Methodist Hospital. Uh, Methodist Hospital has been a partner with us, and that partnership is growing. Yeah, those are good people over there. They're, they're fantastic people, and there's a large portion of budget that goes out of these hospitals to transport people, and uh, people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to help take that portion of that budget strain away from them 
uh, not just Baptist, but I mean, not just Methodist, but also Baptist Hospital. Yeah. So we have partnerships with both and Trinity Healthcare. Yeah. Um, which is a uh, health care option for people who are working class, underinsured, or not insured at all. That sounds like me. Listen, guy, it sounds I like a lot of people. I literally haven't had health insurance in eight years, and I'm not the most careful person. You know, so when you can afford can health insurance, imagine. you can't afford to use it. Yeah, exactly. And so we're discovering that. Man, this is so great that you're listen, doing this. Listen, this is just the beginning. We really want to make a difference and impact. We want to shed some light on the issues that are and try to provide that next light bulb. Mm -hmm. The incandescent light is fine, but even with healthcare, we see that it's not efficient. There's a better way to do it. There's something stopping it, and we should be the people who try to help fix it. You can. So if you're watching right now, let's tell them again where they can find you. We've got the Facebook link in the body text. It's a one click. We have the phone number up there. Yes. Pastor Doug. Is it Preacher Doug? Pastor Doug? What kind Man, of, what kind of Doug, Doug are you? Just call me Doug. Just call you Doug? Just call me Doug. Okay. Douglas, but not Stuart. That's my first name. <laughs> Don't you call me really Stuart. You really shouldn't say that. Well, Stuart, <laughs> thank you so much for there. coming in today. Hey, thank you for having me on here. And let's say hi to Brandy and your beautiful family, hey, man. Brandy I love keeping up with y'all. Hey, Brandy is my beautiful wife, Paxton. My She's son, so Jarvis Cooper. I love her voice. I've always told her I love her when she does her videos. Oh. She has the most comforting voice. She can sing like nobody's business. She's wonderful. I, I took her, her CD down on Music Row to the office and sat there <laughs> on my shelf forever. Well, thanks so much for coming in today and appreciate everything you're doing. Y'all be sure and reach out with the number. It's in yes. the body text. And um, let's, we're going to give it out again for the television watchers right now. Hey, thank you, community. If you want to get in touch with us for services or volunteerism or sponsorship, it's 662-420-2949. Y'all, thanks so much. This has been TJ Cates with Good Morning All Branch with... Doug Bell. Good morning, Olive Branch.